Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. About three or four days ago, on day number 101, today is our lesson number 104, on day number 101, we began discussing the notion of rational number and irrational number. We are still continuing with the thing today and tomorrow. The problem that we're going to do for today is already on the blackboard. Let's take a look at it. The problem deals directly with the notion of an irrational number. Let's see what the question is asking. It says, what irrational number can be approximated by the number 4.3589? What irrational number can be approximated by 4.3589? So we know we're dealing with an irrational number. And what we learned on day number one and day number one, day number one, 101 rather, what we learned on day number 101 and 102 is that the square root of most numbers, most number, square root of most number is going to be an irrational number if n is not, n is not a, not a perfect square. Of course, if n happens to be a perfect square, square root of 16, of course, is just 4, which of course is quite rational, because it can be written as a fraction. A, a, a rational number we learned on day number 101. On day number 101, we learned that a rational number is something that can be expressed as a fraction. Of course, 4 is a rational number, because 4 can be expressed as 4, 4 over 1, 8 over 2, or 400 over 100. Obviously, it can be expressed as a fraction. It's a rational number. But if, instead of 16, if we had 17, this is going to be a rational number. This is the square root of 39 is going to be a rational number. Any number that is not a perfect square, if you take a square root of it, it's going to be an irrational number. This, before we do any work at all, we have to, before we do any work at all, a logical thing to do here, a rational, a smart thing for us to do is to ask ourselves, what do you suppose we may get when we were to take this quantity and multiply it by itself? And if it turns out that that's, if it turns out that that quantity is something very close to an integer, then that's what we're looking for. If it turns out that it's very close to a whole number, then that's what we need. Let's find out what this quantity multiplied by itself is. Shall we? Let's do it here. Because obviously it's not the perfect square. So, we have 4.3589 times 4.3589. We have to multiply the two quantities and find out what that is. Now, before we do any work at all, before we dive into this thing, we can immediately realize here, we immediately see here, that if you were to leave it the way things are, it's going to be quite tedious, it's going to be quite boring, it's going to be quite laborious, it's going to be boring as hell. So let's not leave it like this, let's, let's, let's make our life easier, let's make our life simpler. We're going to pretend that it's sort of 4.3589, we're going to pretend that this quantity is approximately 4.36. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I shouldn't say we're going to pretend, there's nothing to pretend, this quantity, 4.3589, nobody in their sane mind would disagree with you that it is approximately 4.36. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to approximate 4.36. Second thing we're going to do is that for the time being, while we're doing our multiplication, while we're doing our multiplication to keep our life simple, we're going to forget the decimals. We're going to take care of the decimals at the end. So let the show begin, shall we? Let's, let's, let's the show begin. 6 times 6 is 36. 6, 6 are 36, 6 carry 3, 6, 3 is 18, plus 3 is 21, 1 carry 2, 6, 4 is 24, plus 2 is 26. So that takes care of that part. Times 3, 3, 6 are 18, 8 carry 1, 3, 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 0 carry 1, 3, 4 is 12, plus 1 is 13. Cross out the previous numbers that you were carrying so that uh, you have a new one on the top. We have to go one more round, times 4. 3 4 is a 24, 4 carry 2. 4 3 is a 12, plus 2 is 14, 4 carry 1. Even though this is 1, I still cross it out and put a new on top because to remind me that's from the third round. Do you understand? 4 4 is a 16, plus 1 is 17. Let's see what we get here. I'm curious. Let's see what we get. We get 6 here, 9, 0. 6 plus 4 is 10, 0, carry 1. Get 4, 7, and 3, 4, 7, and 3 is 10, 0, carry 1. And we get 1 plus 1 is 2 plus 7 is 9. We get 19.0096. Now we're going to go back 
and take care of our decimals. So now we're going to go back and take care of our decimals. The decimals were here, 4.36, 4.36. We realize that here we have to move the decimals to two spots, and here we have to move the decimal again in two spots because of course it's the same number. So we take our decimals in the final answer, which is right here, and we have to move it four spots. One, two, three, four. Voila. Now what do you, what, what do you suppose that tells us? What do you suppose that tells us? Well, we are very close to getting done because what this tells us is that, what this tells us is that the square root, square root of 19.0096, is exactly, is exactly equal to 4.36. Square root of, the square root of 19.0096 Zero zero nine six is exactly four point three six. Square root of nineteen point zero zero nine six is exactly four point three six. Therefore, it will be quite reasonable for us to claim because the question was what irrational number can be approximated by this number. The answer is square root of nineteen. Square root of nineteen. Square root of nineteen because here we have nineteen point zero zero nine six which we know if we take a square of that quantity we get 4.36 therefore square root of 19 can very reasonably can, re can very reasonably be argued as an approximation of 4.3589 because instead of 4.3589 we have 4.36 there you go that's it that's our answer in the beginning when we started out the question may have seemed esoteric the question may have seemed You would think that a simple word like esoteric would not give me so much trouble. Question may have seemed, question may have seemed uh, cryptic, but it's not actually. It's a very straightforward question. The question: What what irrational number can be approximated by that quantity? The answer is, it's the square root of 19. Square root of 19. If you were to take take a, take the square root of 19, it would turn out that square root of 19 would be something very close to that quantity. Therefore, that quantity can be approximated as square root of 19. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.